Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the fifth Epigram Books Fiction Prize Award Ceremony and Dinner. Five years ago, two things happened that would change the course of publishing in Singapore. If we are lucky enough to be blessed by the gods, history might repeat itself. And I hope that five years from now, we can look back on this night as another turning point because the same two things have just occurred. Oh, but where are my manners? First things first. Let me thank, it is my pleasure to thank the people and organizations who have made this night possible. Terry McNeese followed up on last year's support with another round of sponsorship after a simple plea from us. Can Terry stand to receive our heartfelt appreciation? <laughs> Likewise for Mervyn Suresina of MS Associate Consultancy. He has sponsored us every year. A show of gratitude, please, Mervyn. Our author, Paige Parker, who had to pull out at the last minute because the daughter is performing for the Chinese ambassador, Chinese New Year function. And her husband, Jim Rogers, our corporate client, GIC, our landlord, Maple Tree, the Lee Foundation, Claire Chiang of Banyan Tree, Alan Fu of Kids21, our distributor, APD, SPH Foundation, our printers, a and and Mainland, our paper supplier, RJ, ex-colleagues, Siva Arasu and Leslie Fong, a faithful friend, Jason Wang, and Conrad Hotel have all sponsored us too. Last year, we opened the Hux Epigram Coffee Bookshop that would not have been possible without the partnership of Hux Coffee, a local franchise whose owners are with us tonight, Ben Chu and his mother, Eve. Ron, the founder, is in KL expanding the empire. Uh, ben? Um. This year, we continue to do our small bit for charity. Each of the four artwork by artists from CPAS, the Cerebral Palsy Alliance of Singapore, is an interpretation of one of the, of the four shortlisted novels. I hope you will join the auction for them. Needless to say, all proceeds will go to CPAS. So what happened five years ago? In March 2015, we announced the formation of the annual Epigrams Book Fiction Prize for unpublished Singaporean novels. Since then, 27 titles from this contest. Several by first-time authors have been published. It has uncovered such groundbreaking novels as Now That It's Over, the inaugural winner by O Tiam Chin, Sugar Bread, <laughs> Sugar Bread, the Punjabi family drama by Bali Kaur Jaswal, we should be read in place of To Kill a Mockingbird in our schools. Let's give it up for Gimme Lau. <laughs> Sebastian Seam's quintessential Singaporean novel of a doctor who joins the ruling party to get ahead. The Gatekeeper. <laughs> Noralia Norasit's speculation on what happens to society's outcasts. Lieutenant Kurosawa's Aaron Boy. <laughs> Warren Kalasegaran's clever novel of forgiveness. And Jeremy Tiang's State of Emergency, which won the most recent Singapore Literature Prize. Just to highlight six of, of them. The contest, in turn, has inspired many others to pick up their writing pen. And apart from the novel, the mushrooming number of short story anthologies 
and graphic novels is a healthy sign. Coincidentally, in 2015, we also published Sunny Liu's The Art of Charlie Chan Hock Chai, <laughs> which became a national bestseller here, and after its release in the US, won a record equaling three Eisners, the equivalent of the Oscars for the comic world. It became the first Singaporean title to feature on the New York Times bestsellers list. It has been translated into seven languages, won numerous awards, and become Singapore's most famous literary work. So, not, so 2015 will come to be seen as the year it became possible to imagine Singapore lit on the world stage. Since then, the Singaporean novel is not an oddity. And Singaporean authors have likewise been picked up by international publishers. So what happened in 2020? Just like in 2015, we have launched the Epigram Books Fiction Prize again, this time as a regional competition. And we have again published another Eisner-nominated graphic novel, Alma, by Filipino artist Jerry Alangilan. Alma imagines a country years before and after the United Nations declares chickens to be the newest member of the human race. Will 2020 mark the start of an exciting new phase in English language literary publishing in Southeast Asia? I have no illusions that it will be easy or even profitable. There are nearly as many languages, cultures and economies as there are countries. It will probably take more than five years to make a small dent, but surely we cannot wait. How else can Southeast Asians read each other unless it is through the English language. How likely is it for a Thai to read Bahasa Indonesia, or an Indonesian to read Tagalog, or a Filipino to read Vietnamese? English, like it or not, is the common language of Southeast Asia. But no Southeast Asian publisher will bother to translate a best-selling title into English just to add another thousand copies to the 50,000 or 100,000 already sold in the original language. And if we do not read each other, how do we develop any sense of understanding between us? We shouldn't have to wait for the West to discover our next Tan Tuaneng, or Ika Kunyawan, or Brother Yun. We should do it ourselves. Epigram has already started. In 2017, we publish our first two Malaysian titles. A year later, a Malaysian short story collection which became a national bestseller. And in 2019, an Indonesian novel, Love, Lies and Indomie, about a Jakarta woman looking for instant love in all the wrong places. This year, apart from Alma, we will release at least five more titles from Southeast Asian countries other than Singapore. There will be two graphic novels, uh, memoirs, one an Indonesian, one a Malaysian, and the three novels from this year's finalists. Five years from now, I hope we can look back on this night and thank our finalists, Ernie Saleh, Joshua Kam, Katrina Mohamad Daud, and Sunisa Manning, for starting us on this road to becoming Southeast Asians. I wish them the very best in their literary endeavours. Before I end, it gives me great pleasure to thank our judges, author Bali Kaur Jaswal, publisher Min Bui Jones, Professor Rajiv Pakar, filmmaker Tan Pin Pin for their wise counsel. Likewise to our army of readers for evaluating the manuscripts. To everyone in Epigram, thank you for your commitment to this course and dedication in organizing this year's dinner and ceremony. Lastly, thank you all for coming. Please enjoy the evening.